Hey, what's up? It's Matt, Gable, and... Ian. With MJ Gable. Welcome back to the channel. So we have a topic that we must cover because we have gotten a lot of calls, emails, and messages about this topic. So we're going to try to answer those questions and kind of squash this as much as we can. And it's new technology, so you have to understand a lot of this is new to everybody. But the topic is going to be what is better, CVD diamonds or HPHD diamonds, specifically lab rones. So we got a phone call the other day that Anna consulted with a woman worried about the post-growth treatment on CVD diamonds. There's a lot of questions about which is better, a lot on the internet, and you have to be careful what you're reading and what is out there and kind of decipher for yourself what's best for you. Anne pointed out that it's more of a personal preference and we're gonna go over the negatives and positives to both HPHD and CVD diamonds. I just wanna start out <laughs> by saying um, I am not an expert in lab grown diamonds. I don't think that anybody at this point is an expert in it because it's such new technology. It's moving so quickly. Everything that I have to say and Matt has to say is based in our opinion on this, you know, based on the facts that we have. And the experience, <laughs> and the from experience being in have. this trade for yes. many, many years. But other than that, it really is going to come down to what you feel most comfortable with and what your priority <laughs> is when buying a lab grown diamond. Let's start right off the gate, and I want to say this. If you are getting hung up on the difference between HPHT and CVD, I just want to remind you very gently <laughs> that you, no matter what, are still buying a lab-grown diamond. Any way you slice it, whether it was, it's CVD or HPHT. It was still created in a lab. It's still coming out of a lab. You're not, not the earth. Right. You're not taking an earth mine diamond and altering it. With an HPHC treatment for color or yes. or clarity or other other enhancements. So people tend to get stuck on this idea of the post-growth treatment that comes with many CVD diamonds. My initial response to that is, does it really matter? <laughs> it's, it already it's went still, through. Yes. An HP, it already went through an HPHC process, so having a CBD diamond that has a post-growth treatment of HPHT, it already went through a lab It already went through process a lab process to, that's not HPHT, but right, in, in comparison, right. an HTHP diamond, that's how they're made, is through the HPHT process. And the, the post-growth treatment that they do is really just to perfect that diamond. Um, you know, at the end of the day, CVD diamonds are the most chemically pure diamonds that are available. There is no boron or, or um, any other impurities that are in the stone. In contrast, HPHT diamonds often have nitrogen or boron in them. They're not as pure. They're not, They're not chemically, as chemically as pure, pure. as CVD. So what happens with that is they often tend to have a blue hue, what you might see as a blue nuance in them, especially with, like I said, the HPHT. Now, you get that with, especially in diamonds that are lower than an F color, okay, in HPHT. The other problem with HPHT is that they are a little bit more challenging to cut the rough. So what tends to happen is that inclusions, especially in lower clarity stones, um, maybe even some VS stones, VS2, for example, SI1, SI2, those stones are going to have inclusions that tend to typically be under the table, okay? So they often can be visible. So when I look at an HPHT stone that has a certification that lists it as G color SI1 clarity, my first instinct is, is that it probably is going to be a little blue and the inclusions are going to be black and they're going to be under the table. Um, that being said, I have seen some beautiful, very, very crisp, crisp white DE color VVS1 HPHT stones. Yeah, but those are going to be because they're VVS and, they're, and colorless. They're, they're colorless. They're colorless. They're going yes. to... They should present that way. Yes. And, and an HPHT will actually cost you more right. than a CBD. Now, there's, there's, I just want to hit, hit on that. The reason why HPHT stones are more expensive is because they're more expensive to produce. 
CVD diamonds do not need the high pressure. They do need the high temperature, but they don't need to go more than 1400 degrees. Where HPHT diamonds do, they, they require significantly more energy to actually create. So the cost of the CVD diamond is actually less. There's also no color zoning um, that comes out of CVD CVDs, diamonds. Right. Yep. And you will not have metallic inclusions, okay? CVD diamonds tend to be kind of the safer bet in terms of growth from a manufacturer because they are more predictable in terms of what they are going to produce. Um, they also produce a very wide variety of color and clarity. They're also a little bit easier to cut the rough. Like I said, you know, circling back, HPHT diamonds, the rough itself, the rough diamond material, um, has 14 different growth patterns, okay? CVD diamonds has one growth pattern. It grows in, in a cube form. Um, in comparison, natural diamonds are formed in what we call an octahedron form. They have eight growth patterns. So HPHT diamonds just come with, you know, a little bit more variation in terms of the rough that is produced. They tend to be a little bit more metallic in their inclusions, like I said and they often can be darker inclusions. They're a little bit more challenging than yes. a CBD diamond. Than a CBD. Yeah. Yeah. Um, personally, I prefer a CBD diamond. Um, I think that in my experience, especially with some of the blogs that are out there, you know, pushing one or the other, if you look closer <laughs> at those blogs, you may find that they are pushing one um, company or another company that probably specializes in one or the other. So you're going to find CVD companies pushing against HPHT companies and you're going to find HPHT companies pushing, pushing against, against CVD. CVD. Um, so my response to the information that's online about what's better, take it with a grain of salt. Um, I think it comes down to what's most important to you is the, is the, um, the chemical composition of the stone important to you? Um, you know, do you care <laughs> really about the post growth treatment? And if so, why? Maybe ask yourself why, why? Yeah, <laughs> you right. care so much. <laughs> um, and it's fine if you do. I just would argue that it's not something to get hung up on. You're still buying a diamond that has been produced in a lab by an artificial um, process. process. It's not an earth mine stone, no matter which way you go. And the longevity and the lifetime of these gems is not, you know, not being compromised by any post growth treatment. The post growth treatment that they're doing is simply to just solidify and really perfect that color, um, you know, of the CVD diamond that is already being produced at a at a high quality I mean, on baseline. HPHC color treatment has been around for 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 a very long time. They've mm -hmm. been they've been color correcting diamonds. Earthmine diamonds, yes. For a very long time. Yes. So, earthmine diamonds, mm -hmm. right? So, I'm with Ann. I also prefer CVD. I've seen a lot of labro diamonds. I lean towards the CVDs. I would rather have a chemically pure diamond. And they're a little bit less expensive. I yes. think you're getting a better diamond with CVD, in my personal opinion. The other thing I want to point out is HPHT historically um, only produces kind of smaller stones. Um, you know, you're more likely to see the larger carrots be CVD regardless. Um, you know, that obviously is changing a little bit, but uh, I would argue that. Again, with an HPHT stone, you are going to potentially um, get that blue nuance if it's under an F color, and uh, the inclusions may be a little bit more uh, metallic and certainly dark. They won't be feather-like and white. Um, you know, so something to consider. Yeah, absolutely. So hopefully that helps. Like I said, we've been getting a ton of questions on it. We just feel that they're better stones to CVDs versus HPHT. I, we appreciate all the feedback, the comments, yes. um, the views on the videos. If you guys enjoy our content, please like and subscribe to our channel. If there's something you want us to cover that you want some answers on or help with, let us know. We're happy to do that. And as always, thanks for watching.
this may not be the last video on this <laughs> either. I suspect <laughs> that, um, you know, we may circle back to this topic I'm sure we again will. in a little bit more finite detail. It's, but it's, we wanted it's to all new. Something I mean, there. you have to understand HPHC has been around for a long time. CVD is a newer technology. That's why I lean towards it as well. But this is new for everybody, this lab grown diamond thing. It's here to stay. Yes. But it's new for everybody. Don't be afraid to buy either. Yeah, and They're we'll help you navigate good it. Good bets, but that's it. As Have always, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.